Hey guys, this is Game Maker Rob. Today is going to be a quick one. I would be a bit remiss if I didn't show you how to use a CSV file to store your data and easily import it into Game Maker uh, using the function load CSV, which is this one here. And all it does is it takes an Excel sheet that you saved in a CSV format and turns it into a DS grid like this. So I'll show you what I've got at the moment. I have some stats here, a bald man, overweight dude, and a pretentious guy with different stats. Uh, this step is a bit messy. This is just the way that I do it. So I'm going to grab this data here and I'm going to make a new Excel sheet. I'm going to call it stats. I'm going to go into it and paste the stats there and then file save as .csv and then save. And then this version here, just right click properties, make sure it's the .csv version there. I'm going to put it into this folder so I can find it. And then in Game Maker, in Windows Resources, Included Files, right click, Insert Included File, and I want Desktop CSV, this one here. So now, can see in the resources I've got my stats file and to load it is really easy stats grid equals load CSV and make sure you have dot CSV if you have just stats it won't work it has to be dot CSV and now that's going to create a grid with all the data and in the draw GUI event I'm going to draw the data like this so if we run the game it should work. And there we go. So there's all the data we have that was on the sheet. Uh, the one thing you need to bear in mind is that everything on the sheet is a string. So all these numbers are still strings. So if you want to turn them into numbers, you need to use a function like real, like uh, have this grid as a base version and make a new grid or array and turn the ones that are numbers into a real number something like that but yeah it's uh it can be quite efficient to do it like this and it's really easy to like change values on the fly from here you can change these values and then they'll be updated in the game straight away so this is quite helpful especially if you have huge amounts of data so that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Bye for now.